I have been waiting so long for this pack to retro and it didn't really retro how I wanted it to, but after many years in the 2020 and the 2023 release, we finally kind of got the DMP pack. So in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys a full unboxing and review and comparison in depth, going through every little detail of the DMP pack, the DMP sixes, and the Gratitude Air Jordan 11s. So sit back, grab your popcorn, take some notes because we have a lot to dissect. And oh yeah, if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Hey! Let's kick it to the studio so we can break down these shoes. Okay, so we have a lot to unpack. I'm gonna start with the Jordan 6 first, and then we're gonna go to the 11 second. We're gonna go through the packaging, the paper, literally everything that goes along with this because this is the modern day DMP pack, and obviously you got the OG DMP pack. So I just wanna show you guys the differences, the similarities, how everything is set up, and how they, why, I don't even know why they decided to drop it separately. Maybe create some hype. Again, it came out during COVID, so there might be some reasons why, you know, the 11s and the 6s kind of got pushed back. I don't know. Either way, let's get some of this stuff off the table and moved out the way for you guys. I am just so excited to uh, go through this stuff. So for the 6s, I'm going to just move this out the way. So when you get the box, as you can see, it comes with this gold shroud that goes around the box. So you got your Jordan Jumpman logo there. And then you have 1991 and you have 1996. So 91 represents the DMP6, 96 represents the DMP11. And then on the bottom corner right here, it says Defining Moments, a limited edition collection by brand Jordan. And then it says Jordan LE for limited edition and multicolor size 13, just for me. And then on the other side of the box, you got the same branding and on the back end, you got the holes right here. And then it's like all gold on the inside right here. And then when you pull it out the shroud, it looks like this. So on the top of the box, matte black with the gold jump man. And then on the front end right here, you got your 91, 96. So that represents the shoes. Also on there, it says AJ6, June 12th, 1991 which will also represent the championship in that defining moment in his career now you flip the box open like this and during this time let me just let me please set the let me set it for you guys this was the package the package like a thing like two shoes coming in a package i'm trying to tell you guys the severity of this like this was crazy so now on here you got the two different plastic pieces we're focusing on the sixes right now you have a translucent piece right here and on there there's an image of jordan in the finals wearing the air jordan sixes going to the rim and then you pull that off and then on the paper if you look all throughout the paper right here you have 91 and 96 so it's 91 96 all throughout the paper and it's kind of like an erased text like it's got a little bit of texture to it as well now you peel back the paper and then you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, so now that you guys have seen the packaging of the OG DMP6, before we start breaking down the shoe, because this is a comparison video, we gotta go through the packaging of the retro version. Now, looking at the box, you can see all gold throughout the box. You got that metallic gold. Putting it side by side with these. Looks very, very similar, right? You can see the similarity in these two. This one's a little bit more bronzy, I would say. This one's more yellow tone to the gold. But besides that, very similar. We get the idea of that. Now, looking at this box, you have a matte black Jumpman in the center of the lid. And then in the front half of the box, you have all matte black wrapping around there. Now, looking at the size tag, it reads Air Jordan 6 Retro DMP. So they're calling these the DMP 6s. And then this black metallic gold black size 13 just for me and then retail on these in current time was 200 dollars now lifting open the lid of the box and then peeling back the paper you have some white paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe okay so now this retro is considered to be the dmp6 as well so we would assume that everything will be the same right the colors how they did it all the materials you name it so Let's go ahead and start from the bottoms and work our way up. Looking at the outsoles, as you can see right here, you have a translucent outsole. This one's obviously got more of an ice blue tint. There's more aging on this shoe right here. And then in that, you have a black rubber, and then you got a gold jump man in the center of the foot on both of these. So everything's pretty much identical on that aspect. Now wrapping up to the midsoles right here, you got the same thing. You got your translucent pods going up to the sides. And then on the air unit right here, you have a white paint, and then you have a gold air unit on the inside of the new retro. 
And then on the DMP pair, you have a white paint right here and a gold unit on the original DMP. Now going to the upper on these two shoes, materials are gonna be very, very identical. The cuts and shapes are gonna be a little bit different because the shoes were a little bit slimmer back then when they were making retros. And they're getting back to that, you know, original bulkier, you know, Air Jordan 6 cut. And we've seen that on previous retros with the threes, the fours, the fives, the sevens, the eights. Like they're bringing back that vibe with the OG nostalgic original cuts from back in the day. Now looking at the back end around the heel of the two shoes, you got your flat black plastic tab here on the back end and then your metallic gold strip going in the center of that. You have your Jumpman branding right here in a black stitch. That's also matching on these two. And then you have your gold 23 branding again, very similar, obviously a little bit different because of, you know, years and how things change or technology or whatever, but very, very similar when it comes to that. And then on the center of the tongue, this one again, more metallic-y, whatever you'd like to call it on the new retro, you got all gold here and then you got all gold here. So everything's pretty much identical. And then on the hang tag, it says Air Jordan 6, June 12, 1991, defining moments, MJ's first professional championship. And then you got the Jumpman on the other side, that's on the retro version. And then on the original, you have a gold hang tag Jumpman here. And then it says Air Jordan 6, June 12th, 1991, defining moments, MJ's first professional championship. Exact same thing when it comes to these two. And when it feels like the weight, I feel like they feel like pretty similar on that aspect too. Now on the insole right here, you have an all black insole, black sock liner there, and then you have a gold Jumpman with the air just below that. And then on here, you have the same thing, a gold Jumpman black on black, but this time it has a gold Jumpman and then 2020 just below that. So that's one switch up that I would say might be a little bit different, but it's on the insole. And I like how they do that as well to help you kind of put a timestamp on it and show the differences between the retros as well. Hey, just wanted to let you guys know, I'm giving away a pair of Black Cat Air Jordan 4s. Every item that's purchased on the website from Black Friday to Christmas, you will have a raffle entry into the raffle and I'll be announcing the winner on Christmas. Hit the link down below in the description and purchase anything from the site, any merch or any sneakers. There's a ton of stuff discounted as well. Good luck on the raffle and I can't wait to give this pair to somebody for Christmas. So now that you guys have seen what the DMP 6s look like compared to the retro, there's definitely differences, but again, a lot of similarities. Now when it comes to the Air Jordan 11s, there's a lot of similarities, but a lot of differences when it comes to these two shoes. So I'm excited to dissect these. It's been a while, a long time coming. I've been looking forward to this. I like the DMPs a lot. This is like, I had like four and a half of this set. So for me, it, completing this set again, it's just, it's a fun, it's fun. So, all right, let's start with the original and then we'll get into the retro version right here. This is the DMP, or no, Gratitude 11. All right, gold box, we saw all this. Let's go through all the details. We went through that earlier, so I don't think we need to cover that again. So now looking at the bottom half of the box right here, you can see it says 96, like we talked about earlier. And then right there it says AJ11, June 26th. 1996 representing the air jordan 11 the year that he won the championship the beginning of the second three-peat all those different things now flipping open this part right here again oh it just feels so good every time i flip this open like this like i don't know if y'all understand now this time he's wearing the air jordan 11s so you peel this off and again you got to be careful because you don't want to crack it but on the on this side right here you got a gold 96 as well and then same thing, white paper, 96, 91, but there's a difference on this one. There's a little pamphlet right here. Oh my gosh, the pamphlet. So you can see right here, it has the gold sheen to it. And if you flip it over to the other side right here, same thing, you got the 96 with the 91, that matches the box as well. And then on there, the same quote that I said earlier, right there, look at that. Defining moments, a limited edition collection by Jordan Brand. These little things right here, just again, it was the little touches like you know how we always say we want the retro card back we want certain things like those little elements that just made the storytelling so much better when you have packaging and it, it comes along with the sneaker you know it's like that's what makes you not want to get rid of the box these are those type of things so again this set the tone and it's hard to match this this energy right here so opening up this part right here you can see you have a whole booklet. I'll drop a picture right here, Defining Moments series. In the course of a true great athletic career, there are those rare moments frozen in time. Frozen in time, trophy room ones. You see what I'm saying? Frozen, you, you get, you see how, 
It's crazy. Okay, that captured the athlete's courage, inner character, and will to win. In the unique and illustrious career of Michael Jordan, those moments are at once recognizable, but more important, they have become inevitably linked to our collective memory of how greatness itself is defined. Two such defining moments are highlighted here in the first of this series. His first and his fourth championship, the latter of which that were worn on Father's Day, Following his first retirement, beyond his enduring legacy as the greatest basketball player to ever play the game, MJ continues to inspire us to work harder, to become uncompromising, and to possess righteous ambition in reaching our goals. Ultimately, it is the commitment to excellence that will define the moment for all of us. And then if you look on the sheet right here, it says 1991, which matches with the shoes over here for the Jordan 6s, and it says your first is always special. MJ's first championship, fittingly against the mighty LA dynasty of the 80s. And then when you open that up, you can see right here you have the same dates with the shoe box and then you have the air jordan 6 and then on this side now you have the same thing like we saw on the shroud over here you have 96 and then it says the fourth championship won on father's day in 1996 as a tribute to MJ's father, James. And most people know Michael Jordan's dad had passed away, and this was a huge tribute to him by winning this championship. And this game meant a lot, not only to him, but a lot of the fans as well. And then when you look onto the next page right here, you can see an Air Jordan 11, but this is what everybody was talking about right here. You can see, this is the OG set, well, one of the samples. There's Jordan branding right here, and they made these specially for certain people. Some people have these. I know a couple people that got a couple samples. Maybe we should get those for a review soon. Either way, this Jordan branding right here was like an iconic thing because everybody was like, yo, look at the book. Like, why couldn't we get the shoe like that? And some people like it, some people don't. Again, we saw it on the Jubilees, which again, had some ties to this, but that's a whole nother topic. But either way, again, great times, great moments. I'm just trying to set the tone for you guys so you guys can understand that. And then right here, you got the matte black, you got the metallic Jumpman and the Jumpman23.com. You guys remember the Jumpman 23? I think this site is still active. I don't, I don't know if anybody really goes on it anymore, but this was a good time right here. This, this, good times, good times. Looking at the paper again, 91, 96 all throughout. Originally, it looks like kind of like 69s with a line in between, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> all right, peeling back the paper. Now you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, now when it comes to the Gratitude Air Jordan 11s, Gratitude, being thankful. I get it. I like how they do this and kind of trade, pay tribute to Jordan. It has multiple meanings, right? You know, they're thankful for their customers. They're thankful of a lot of different things. I could understand where they're going with this, but it's like, it's the DMP 11s. Why don't you just do like what you did with the sixes? But you know, we'll talk about that in a minute. All right. Looking at the upper right here, on the top of the upper, the top of the box right here, all matte black. You got your gold jump man, similar branding, everything similar to that. You got your matte here. On the side, you got your 23 branding like you see on the back end of the heel right here. That's gonna be on the other one as well. You got your gold loop, and then on the size tag, it just says Air Jordan 11 Retro, white, metallic, gold, black. Now, when you peel open the lid like this, you can see there's all white just behind that, and then you have a gold Jumpman branding here. And then when you peel the lid back, right here it says thank you in gold, just like the text that you see on the tongue of the shoe, which we'll get into a bit. And then on the paper right here, all translucent with the white text, and it says thank you in multiple languages to kind of, you know, represent everybody in the world just saying thank you. I get that. I like that. Honestly, I'm not mad at that. Now, peeling back the paper right here, you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Okay, you guys have seen the unboxing. Now it is time to break these two down because, again, a lot of differences between these two shoes. So starting with the outsole right here, you can see classic Air Jordan 11 bottom. But here on the original, you can see all translucent. Obviously, it's yellowing because of age. You have your black hair and bone traction pods, similar to that right there. And then this one on the new Gratitude, it's more of a milky translucent. Now you have a white Jumpman, similar on both of those when it comes to the white Jumpman in the middle of the foot. Now the carbon fiber, it's a little bit different, but very, very similar. This one's a little bit more dark when it comes to the gold and the black areas are a little bit bigger, but overall very, very similar when it comes to the carbon fiber on the, both of the two shoes. Now looking at the midsole on these, you got your all white phylon wrapping around both of those. Everything's the same. You got your black patent leather on the upper. Everything's the same on that. You look at the shoe right here on the front end, all around here. And then even where the eye holes out, where the loops of the laces go through, all of this is going to be that mesh. You got a couple different types of mesh on here. And then on the upper of the gratitude, you can see right here, you have 
two different leathers, a tumbled leather and a smooth leather. And again, no mesh. So this is obviously a huge switch up when it comes to these two shoes because everybody was like, I just wanted the DMPs back. Just give me exactly what I got. Remember like on the Jordan 6, everything was really, really similar. But right here, major switch ups. Now when it comes to Jordan 11s in particular, they never like to make them the same as the previous one. They always like to switch something up, whether it's the cut or the back end where they put the 23, they did the 45 or you name it. Like they always like to switch something up. So I get that it helps, you know, kind of set the tone for like this one was from this era this one was from that era i understand all sides of the design team and why they did it but at the same time from the consumer side a lot of people's like yo i want this and don't get me wrong there's gonna be people in the comment section that's like hey I like the leather on the upper. I'm not mad at it. Keep it going. So looking at the tongue area of the shoe right here, you can see you got your rope laces, everything similar to that, all white rope laces. You got your mesh on the tongue and then you have your leather on the tongue, tumbled leather on here. And then on the tongue, you got your Jordan branding, Jordan text right here, all white and then the gold jump man. And then here, same thing, exact same text. You have white text, gold jump man, black tab, everything's the same with that. Now, hang tag. Remember on the Air Jordan 6s, we saw this. Air Jordan 11, June 26, 1996. Defining moments, MJ's first professional championship after retirement. On the 11s, there's no hang tag. So these really, for us sneakerheads, we're comparing them to this shoe, but for the brand, they're saying, we're calling this something else. We're switching it up. It's not the same. Now you can see right here on the sock liner on both of these, they're gonna be in all black. And then on the back end right here, you have a smoother leather. And feeling this leather, it's a little bit harder. It's a lot softer on the 2006 pair. It feels better on the 2006 pair. Again, that's just in my opinion, but I, I truly feel that the 2006 pair is way more buttery than this new retro. You have a gold jump man metallic right here, and then you have the same thing, metallic gold jump man, a little bit duller, I'm, I'm assuming from age as well on that aspect. Now, one key thing that really defines, <laughs> defines, defines these two shoes is the tongue, the backside of the tongue. So on the backside of the DMP 11s, it says quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever. You got your all black patch, gold around it, white text with the gold jump man. Now on here, I was thinking like, oh, I'm gonna see the same thing, right? Well, I look at the backside of the tongue on these and it's a bigger patch and it's white borders around that side. You got a black line on there. And then it says, thank you, which matches the lid of the box. Like we talked about earlier with that text. And then this time it says quality basketball product created in gratitude by the greatest player ever. Now looking at the sock liner right here, you have all black with a gold 23 branding on the heel with the same exact font like the 11s on the back end. And then on the original DMP, you have a gold jump man. It's a little bit smaller. And then you have the air branding just below that. So that's a look at the original DMP pack and the two retros. I don't know if we got like half a pack or whatever you wanna call it, but basically the two versions that they are similar to the DMP, the original, and that gives you guys an unboxing and a look at literally all of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that something was nostalgic for my people that's been collecting for a long time and something that was educational for people that haven't seen this stuff, that don't know what the packaging is like. I'm here to show you guys all this stuff. If you guys have any other requests on comparisons or shoes from the past, trust me, I got a bunch of shoes in my collection. I love making these videos. I'm looking forward to making another one of these. So let me know what you guys wanna see. Again, I just had so much fun making this video. All right, you guys, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in another one. We out. I would never let you down. If you enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, I have a ton on the inside when it comes to my Sneakerhead Academy. It's an eight-week program that breaks down everything when it comes to the ins and outs of the shoe game, learning the market and how to grow and scale your collection at the same time, or turn it into a hustle and getting a bunch of money if you'd like to do that as well. And if you want to invest in the real estate, I have all the tips and tricks in live meetups where we do monthly meetups and everybody jumps in and we go over a call and we talk about different goals and aspirations that we have and how we can help each other get there. So if that's something that you're interested in, hit the link down below, get signed up. I would love to see you on the inside. It's the holidays right now, so we got a special going as well. All right, you guys, I'm out. Let's in my DNA. Hey, hey, the hey, only choice I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the DNA. <laughs>